pause that there so you can see this. Hello, everybody, we're launching a rocket. Yay, let's bang on it with a hammer. Yeah. Last time we did it's a rocket. It's all mechanical, you can nope. fix it with a hammer. Last time we did a rocket munch, it almost Murdered fell us. on us and killed us. It did, that wasn't very pleasant. It missed his probably like a big speaker. Pretty much, but we got a rocket out of it, we got to keep the rocket. Oh, here, here comes Chad. Right. Are you gonna help us with our rocket? Mm. You might want to oh, move yeah, out the way, mate. That you helped. <laughs> Oh, Travis is leaving. Travis is bored. Ah! Okay, it nearly hit us the last time. It like landed there. Right in front of us, but this time rocket. we did. Rocket! Woohoo! Now we have two rockets. Pocket the rocket. Is that right? We stole your rocket, buddy. Down, down. I'm sure you won't mind. Smooth dancing. Wake up! It's not like it's the middle of the night or anything. She's just always sleeping. She's like Poppy. I know. Right. Are we gonna put our kitchen in her room or like in here so she can make snacks for our customers and stuff? Whatever you want, man. You pick, I don't care. <laughs> right, let's put it in the side of the clip. I don't want to cover up PG Candy's pretty face though. Why don't we move the poster? That was there in the first place, that's so weird. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Look how cute our house is! Look! <laughs> it's half of it's cute. This half is cute, this half doesn't. Joking. <laughs> yeah, we just said she had a cute bed earlier on. She does have an adorable bed. There are lemons and limes attached to everything. Fan fiction. You see lemon and lime baby. Oh my, it looks so classy. You have excellent style. That looks like Nickel. a D. You make surely proud one. Nasty. It looks like a D. The C and the L are way too close to each other. It looks so dassy. It looks like dassy. Sink the bread to clean. <laughs> so funny. She's laughing at you again. Right, now one thing we have discovered. We cannot actually do Shirley's fourth task until we get to the next star level. Because to do Shirley's next task requires us to go into the bit of the desert that we can't get into because we didn't have a blowtorch. So we're going to get this task anyway just to prove a point. Because, you know, why not? So you can tell we're not just lying. Ooh. You made it there. Business is booming thanks to you. I need a couple more hairdressing stations just to keep up, huh? We've not seen another person in here. Hmm. Funny glance. Yes. Right. <laughs> this is you booming. Why there. would she lie to us? Gold and kissing fish. You have to get by fishing off of the dock in the desert, which we cannot reach it. So, apparently she's meant to tell us that, but she doesn't, so... We're just gonna go back to the hotel and move somebody else in and wait till we get up to the next star level and then come back and do that task. So yes, this is a plan. This is our plan. This is a good plan. Good plan. Right, so let's say who's in the hotel, even though I have a sneaky suspicion that no one's in here at night and I have to wait till morning. I don't know why I think that. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm not wrong. Okay. Buddy. We'll go outside, we'll sleep till morning, and then we will come back in and there will be humans. Well, Sims. Yeah. Yeah, Sims are humans. Sims are people too, man. Right, where's the bench? Sometimes I bundle myself up like a little homeless lady. <sighs> Have you seen Wreck It Ralph? <laughs> we went to see it together, you moron. Oh, yeah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can hit me for that. Nah, I can't be bothered. You can't be bothered. What? Uh, whatever. I'll hit you later. You need to fix that shit. No. <laughs> I ain't looking forward to this now. Not that I usually look forward to you whacking me or anything. Pretend to play it on your knee. Yeah. This loading screen uh, takes pages. Thank you. Whoa! Ah, I'm surrounded by people. 
Oh yeah, he slashes here. I think I need a slash. Not even close, and Ray's still not here. Sorry, Parson. We wanted Ray. I promised we'll move him in as fast as we can. Right, okay, we have. Uh, Bonnie, Geeky, <laughs> Lustidious, Geeky, <laughs> and this guy has a boxing ring. Violence in our time? Awesome! Woohoo! Right, hey, do you want. Do you want yeah. Tony or do you want yeah. Master Adam? Yeah. 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 He's standing on the chair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not meant to be able to do that. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You're messing up our game. You're glitching the game, yes, man. Yeah, stop being a glitch. <laughs> oh well, he's happy. Yeah, I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Let's just leave him. Yeah, okay, right. He's happy. Do you want to move it? I don't know. Pick someone. Just choose somebody willing to have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, are we making our town a certain thing or are we just moving it around? Yeah, well, we ain't moving Garden in because he just beat up Rona. That's oh. Mm. Oh. Who's who? Wait, what's what? Oh. Okay. Gordon is a studious sim who likes to beat women up. Uh, yeah. Rona's a fun yeah. sim who is quite good. Oh, oh, oh. Even the geeky person who has buck teeth oh. and an asshole. And this guy's a karate dude. <laughs> or some form of martial arts, so I usually. Rona. Rona? Rona? Hey, I'm Rona, what's up? Oh, Sunny Dale, fun place to live or what? Or what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> or what? Um, Hex, yeah! I was here. Hex, yeah! I was here where you build me a house. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Dude. Dude. Shut up. Dude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right. Forest or desert? Let's move her in the forest because it's nice for the place to live. Oh, we just missed a picnic. That thing just fucking disappeared and she, she moved. She saw us down coming and she ran away. <laughs> That's not nice, Maria. Well, to be fair, we don't like her since she beat up Buddy. Well, who was it? She beat up Buddy? Beat, she beat up Gothboy. Gothboy, that was it. I knew it was some male character who we were quite fond of. Couldn't remember which one. And she was bullying Gothboy, which was nice. There was no bullying in this town. Again? Really? Uh. Alright, where you want her? Her. Where do you want her? Pick a lot. Any lot. Shall we put her like. Let's put her in that one over there and see if I've got that one. I'll put it in the screen. This one? Yes. Okay. So I just need to drag that just to clarify. This one. Wee. Oh. I grant you the powers of the remote and nunchuck. Give me. Use them wisely. Where's my phone? Never. There we go, I found it. Whoa, she is a messed up house. Leaning house. Mr. Ripley's leave or not house. Another recommendation if you're getting My Sims and you do get the guidebook, have duct tape handy because it falls apart really easily. Or maybe that's just my copy. Which I have actually tried to take good care of. Apparently not. Okay, what color do you think best reflects whatever the hell her name is? Rona. Rona. Well, let me see. Let me read out the description of her. lives for the now and enjoys every second of it. Why worry about tomorrow when it's always today? That's a nice answer. We'll have to She likes fun and tasty stuff and doesn't like cute stuff. So no pink. Okay, well I'm going to start with blue. 
and the door's red. Because, why not? No. Yep, I don't care. For some reason, the roof is purple. Because I was looking for it, okay. Approved. I hope you're clapping as if you needed my approval. Because <laughs> you didn't really. Clap, clap. Um. Funky house. Um, let's go see what house looks like somewhere. Else. She just went through to a house through the letterbox. <laughs> she kind of thought it. Teleportation! The letterbox is here for the toilet. <gasps> you know Alex Day, YouTube guy? See, he made a music video on the BBC where he used the TARDIS set. And he found uh, a oh, bunch so. of panels underneath, and one of them was apparently a spoiler for the new series, so they couldn't let him show it. But she didn't realize. Nice house. She likes octopus. <laughs> he has a car for a bus. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, did you get that? What is that? Is that geckos? Yeah, this is a good. She's a good mama king. Oh, I thought she was cute. Right, her house is pretty funky. I love the music. <laughs> and he's just jumping up and down on the couch. He says, why not? Well, you know, it's not his couch, I suppose, but, you know, I'm not here to judge or anything. Let's check other people's houses. <laughs> right, now what? We move someone in. We're still not at star level 5. I'm going the wrong way. How do we get to star level? I think Four. we have to move in the map. Well, if we don't. Okay, still, so where am I going? Right, I'm going in the right direction. Okay. We either have to move in that Master Aaron guy or wait until another businessy kind of sim moves in. I see. All Master Aaron's one needs is just building training dummies. Literally, it's just four training dummies. Then you get to beat them up. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does require us getting a lot of hard essences that are difficult to find. Should we just wait and see? Just go to sleep. Okay. And then see if anybody else in here comes in that we prefer. If you guys want us to move in Master Hour, then let us know and I'll force Gail into it. Fine, you can go collect essences. Nah. <laughs> Grab them quickly, they <laughs> fell off. It's like we don't already have so much. Yeah, well. <sighs> Big me on. <sighs> I don't understand that thing where people <sighs> say if you hear someone else yawning or you see someone yawning, that makes you yawn. It oh, it does. Me yawn. Well, you're weird then because it works with me. It doesn't work. If with I me. see like a hippo on TV yawning or opening its mouth, I start to yawn. I see Tess yawning. Tess is my dog. If I see her yawning, I start yawning. Maybe you're the weirdo. No, because everyone else does it. You're the weirdo. We already knew that. Just because I don't give in to peer pressure. For yawning. <laughs> it's not like we're saying take drugs or... You may as well be. <laughs> sleep around. You know, we expect that of you anyway. What? You calling me a slut? No, it was a <laughs> joke! She's calling okay. me a slut. I'm not calling you a slut. Yes, you are. You're calling Why me not? a drug addict slut. Drug addict, yes. Yeah. Slut, no. I like drug addict. Ad I can't talk. Addict. <laughs> addict. Uh, what were you doing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a freaking drug addict. So defensive. Well, I'm not. I don't take drugs. Oh, she's back. I like her hair. Is it Bean that? Bradley. Bean. <laughs> he was a child TV star, don't you know? Bean. <laughs> Hang on. He was. I can't remember what show. As an infant, he starred in a series of baby food commercials. Don't you know? Oh yeah, well done. Sucks at it. Do you want to move in, Raven? He's very tricky. Let's see what she says. Of normal. Renee calls me Mr. Beef, call me Raven. 
Okay. I mean, we are no. <laughs> Why not? We could put her next to Golf Boy. It could be best. Uh -huh. I like her dress. As long as you don't expect me to be out picnicking on a summer's day. Fine, I shall stay here. Oh, well, you're not allowed then if you're not going to picnic with us. <laughs> you're not going to come in the town picnic to the desert. You're not going to come to our tea party. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, her and Clara? We should stick them next door just because they bug each other. Let me find out what we know about Raven. Raven Wright's career as a makeup artist lasted exactly one wedding. Apparently the black lipstick wasn't traditional enough. <laughs> I like the pun with Raven and Wright. Do you get the pun there? Yeah. Okay, what's the pun then? Is that why Raven Wright is living right Yes, there? well done! <laughs> so many seems to know the answer to that riddle. Have you any idea why a Raven is like a writing desk? Actually, why is a Raven like a writing desk? I have the foggiest idea. <laughs> he doesn't say foggiest, but he says I have no idea. Nobody has any idea. Do you have any idea? I don't know where Lewis Carroll came up with that. Why is Raven like a writing desk? If you Google that, there's know. like a lot of ideas of why they are similar. Like some major discussion. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> there is actually. Well, there's a lot of weird major discussions on the internet. Just yeah. Like, right. Should we stick her here then, so she's next to Golf Boy? Yeah. Tweet 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 tweet. And then a red bird comes flying through the air chasing after a pig. Here we go. Okay. What do they say about her house? What do you mean? Like, her ideas about her house. What? Like, ideas about her house they say. I don't know. They don't do the tiny housekeeping book in that in the menu. Sorry. Cobra. Okay, press the story if you did. You know what to do, man. I got it. I got the script. I got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's geeky stuff, so don't make it geeky. I don't know how you would do that, but I'm just planning that, bruh. Okay, I've just read the description for Ray, the one that we're trying to move in, but never wants to show up. He's essentially the description of a Square Enix character. Confirmed. There are two things Ray cannot get enough of buckles and pockets. Is that like buckles and zippers? The guy who designs the Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy characters, he always puts buckles and zippers on the characters, like in obscure places. Makes their pant pant zippers like visible and makes gives them zippers up their back, their bums and stuff. That's so true. Do you know Pete from Disney, like the Disney franchise? He's like a massive, big, fat version of Goofy. Uh, no. No. Right. Well, in Kingdom Hearts, he has like this one body suit on thing, and it has a zip up the back. So I was watching these commentators, and they called him Captain Ass Zipper, <laughs> and it's kind of stuck now. What was the other one? Um. Oh yeah, there was a monster in one of the games, and he, like the same kind of monster kept popping up, so they called him Bob the Dishbag. <laughs> and then in the new game, there's another one that keeps popping up, so it's Bob the Dishbag who's been reincarnated as a cat. <laughs> Hellfire comms, if you are interested, anybody? They're very funny. Dad. I want to see your house. Where? Dad, excuse me. I'm going in your house before you, even though it's your house. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> she teleported him. I tried. I failed. <laughs> tried I tried, and, and therefore no one should criticize me. Do do do. Failures to the symptom of trying. I like that one. What the? <laughs> Did you, everyone else see that? She was hovering. I know she. We're in, in a hot tub. Pizza. Her clothes oh. on. <laughs> With someone oh, we just met. We can find out. Well, we've got clothes on, so it's all cool. Oh. I'm getting out. Uh huh. Well, hovering. <laughs> In this house, <laughs> levitation always happens. <laughs> Goofy has bedroom, Goofy has spare room, with room. In it. it's secretly a dungeon. Travis, get out. And Travis has headphones. Right, well, this isn't getting us anywhere. We're not moving up star level at all. 
Okay. Well, we're gonna go, and we're gonna hope that next time we have some new interesting people in there since Leo seems to not want to move in the box or die. So let us know if there's anybody you particularly want us to move in. We are gonna try and get in Ray as soon as he pops up. Does that say Raven's Perch? Yes, it does. That's quite cute. Mm -hmm. And on that bombshell, to quote Jeremy Clarkson, and as the train goes past our <laughs> your house, uh, we are going to say goodbye. We will see you later. Bye. We will see you later.